This is going to be a video of how to prime and paint Slanesh demonettes. First thing we're going to do is prime everything with Corax white spray paint. I have one more model that we haven't spray painted yet, which I'm about to prime at the moment. Once we do that, we'll bring it back and we'll start the actual coat of paint. This model is now primed with Corax white, and we're going to use this as a demon prince for our Slaneshi army. We'll leave that one dry while we start the other models. So we're going to start the models by painting the body of them with a very well watered down base with Rackert flesh. I've got our wet palette set up here and we're going to start with the bodies of the demonettes with the Rackert's flesh now. So with one coat of Rackert flesh, as you can see the model showing some nice detail. We can always go over any of the spots that tend to be a little bit weak, but all in all, we're liking this color here. We have several more models to finish. Following the base of Rackard Flesh, we're going to use a very watered down shade of Druchy Violet. Our models currently look like this, with an excellent amount of detail. And as we add the violet, we get more of this type. Just bringing out all the highlights as best we can. So the Druzia Violet wash is finished now. Giving us a little bit more detail to work with. We're going to do another highlight layer of Rackard Flesh just to clean up the uh, surface highlights and but still leave the detail where it is on the models. So after the highlight of Rackard Flesh again, what we're going to do is add a base coat of Demonet Hide to both the boots, legs, claws, and arms, and hair of the models. We've got a good mixture here, mixture 50-50 with water, very, very wet, very, very good to keep the detail of the model. So the base of Demonet Hide is now finished, and we're about to coat again with another coat of Druchy Violet over everything we just painted with Demonet Hide. So after two coats of the Druchy Violet shade on all of the purple we've done, we're going to add a simple coat of black, Abaddon Black which will go over each of the little eyes, as well as any of the clothing and anything else we want to paint black at the moment. Having gotten the eyes and claws with Abaddon Black, what we're about to do now is to overdo the rest of the clothing, the highlights, and any other necessary aid areas with Lead Belcher, which will give us a nice shiny metallic look to all the jewelry and clothing highlights. Now that the lead bed belcher is done on the armor, what we're gonna do is a very quick shade of Ducci Violet over everything that we painted silver. And then we'll move on from there. And here's our Slanesh army so far. We finished our Druki Violet wash over the silver lead belcher armor. I did happen to add uh, Xerxes purple for the flag and clothing and things like that, and draperies and things like that that are around the models. Um, and now as one of the last steps what we're going to do is add a dry brush of Slanesh gray over all of the hair and claws and things like that. 
the dry brush of Demon Nat Hide is done. And I also took the opportunity to put a touch of Carsberg Crimson Shade in for the mouth. And that really cleaned that up a bit. So the only thing left to do now is to just highlight some of the, the Drudgy Violet Stained uh, Lead Belcher with a little bit of Stormhost Silver. And then that'll really lighten up the model there. Then we're going to paint the bases black and get ready for basing. This is what the full army looks like at the moment. And there's our Carsberg Crimson, which we used on the mouths. And we're about to touch up with Stormhost Silver. And then we're going to use a little bit of Abaddon Black for the bases. And this is the final set of units, all based and finished. They just need to be clear coated and I may put a gloss on each of the claw arms. But that in short is the color scheme for all of the Slash Warriors.